What's going on? What's going on? Welcome back to the channel, One Man's Walk. I am your host, Gamal, back at you with another one. So what do we have for you today? I don't know what we just watched, if that was a hostile takeover or not, but the opening act just tried to put on a live show as the act. Bobby V, Ray J versus Pleasure P and Sammy. Let's get to it right after this intro. Clean your house music. You can clean too. Welcome back. So like I stated, we're here to talk about whatever it is that we just watched with Ray J, Bobby V versus Pleasure P and Sammy. What I thought was the opening act, which turned out to be its own act, which then went on longer. I'm sure they were trying to cut, but didn't cut. I don't know. But before we get into any of that, let's get the housekeeping out the way. If you guys have not already done so, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your post bell notifications so that way you don't miss any of this amazing content. We're going to do it quick. You see behind me, Drake is up. Honestly, never mind. And that's how I feel at this very moment as we discuss whatever it is we just watched. Now, you guys know, I've said it before, I like to bring up props so you know what's real. This is the only CD that I had of that group. I don't have Ray J. I love the One Wish record. Those who know me know I love the One Wish record. My wife played me and videotaped me dancing because I can't dance to the record. She wanted me to play it. I am not playing it on the channel. Don't look for that. But um, I am a big Pleasure P fan. I think that he makes incredible music. I think he makes the type of music that allows my wife and I have the three kids that we have. And so shout out to that. And so, but as far as this versus is concerned, so I was very excited about the idea of having an opening act. It, it, it kind of, I, I felt like Swiss and Tim had listened to what people were saying about, hey, why do we have this pre-DJ battle? And then the opening act would kind of replace the pre-DJ battle. And then why do we have a DJ battle from the actual DJs? That would kind of replace that. And then why do we keep having an artist we've never heard of do a video we probably didn't want to see? That would replace that. And then when they when they when they made the names, honestly speaking, I felt we could have just got Bobby V and Pleasure P as the two. And they could have been the opening act because the both of them have enough records. Shout out to that Blackberry Molasses. When he said this was Pac's record, I was like, what record is he has that Pac would have loved? Uh, Bobby V came out, Bobby V came out so much later. And then when Blackberry Molasses came out, I said, oh my goodness, mister. Forgot all about it. So shout out to that. That was really nice because I'd forgotten it. But this became so much more like we thought we would have gotten maybe five records each from them. And then maybe we're going to get a Marion and, and um, Mario to come on. But here it is. It's 11, 12 right now. And those guys had literally just finished. I guess they finally kicked them off stage. I don't know. I got to mute it so I could talk. But this was way longer than it needed to be. And then when Pleasure P was on there talking about, you know, I didn't want to, uh, they, they cut us short for the verses. I'm like, cut you short? Get open and act. What do you mean cut you short? What open and act? When, when stuff like this happens, the only thing I think about is, man, Swiss and Tim listened. I felt like they really did a great job of listening to people and saying, let's do something different. Let's give these guys an opening act and give us a different vibe. And then for them to do what they did, I felt was extremely disrespectful and not being grateful for the opportunity. I don't know what was worked out. I don't know how many songs they were supposed to do. I don't know how long their time frame was, but I think they came on around 930 or so. It's 11.13, what are we doing? Those of us who have worked tomorrow, who stayed up to watch this and recap this, this is crazy, this is nuts. And I already wasn't feeling well. Already wasn't feeling well. Thankfully, I felt a little bit better, but I felt crappy earlier. And then gotta sit through this, this is wild. So I felt like it was completely disrespectful at the time. And then not only does it put in a bad light, like it almost gives the, the connotation that black people just can't have stuff sometimes, which is not the case, because it's not everybody. But then when you have this, do you think Swiss and Tim are gonna be more likely to give enough the next verses an opening act? Because they may think 
if these Negroes did this, the next Negroes going to do that. And I'm like, had they just gone ahead, got their records and been professional out the way, they did so much talking in between. It started off as a great thing. I thought DJ A1 did a good job. Let me look at my notes. DJ A1 did a good job. He was playing nice classic R&B. My wife was loving, loving it at one point. She was like, okay, DJ, which, which is a good sign that she was enjoying herself. I thought it started off a little shaky. You know, we're at an R&B show when the first joint he threw out was a C murder, um, Dow For My, which I was like, okay, not the right venue for that. But then he got right into this R&B bag. It was smooth, it was nice. But then he went back to a little bit of the more ratchet music. Maybe, maybe not the time for that, but okay, it was cool. And then D-Ray came out. I felt he was doing a little bit too much. I feel like sometimes because they're comedians, whether it's D-Ray, whether it's Steve Harvey, there is a, a need to have to be super funny as opposed to just allowing the show to transition and then you kind of fill in the gaps where need be. I feel like because they're comedians, we know they're comedians, they feel like they need to play up to the fact that they're comedians. I don't think it was necessary. He was doing stuff with the, the clothing and what they had and they come on. I didn't think that was necessary, it was cool. But then with the R&B act, Sammy, who I think, him and Ray J obviously of the, two, of the four of them have the least amount of hits and was doing so much talking. You're talking over Ray J, you're talking over Bobby V with like all this extra stuff. Like Pleasure P kept having to calm him down. I'm like, bruh, what are we doing here? Do your records, sing your songs. People know the records, they gonna sing along. We don't have to get into all this extra bravado. I feel like they were trying to play Ray J a lot of times. Super disrespectful to Ray J. Now, if Ray J is behind it as far as the individual with his business ventures, and I didn't even know he had some of these business ventures, but if his business venture partnered with Versus to put this on and it was wild disrespecting him, then that's disrespectful. And I, you know, like it's little things like that. Again, I'm a big Pleasure P guy. He was being disrespectful. I just feel like as a whole, it could have been done better. There's a way to be able to do it where you can get your flowers and you can understand, you know what? This isn't my verses. Who's not to say that if they had done their verses in a nice tight 30 minute window, and again, I don't know how much time frame Swiss and Tim gave them, but say they did it in a 30 minute window. They each nicely got their records off, got them out the way, came out of the way. Who's not to say that Swiss and Tim say, you know what? Pleasure P got more records than this and he didn't get to do all his records. Bobby V got more records than this and he had to cut short his records. I was so mad with the way he did Anonymous. Anonymous is such an up-tempo record. You could have threw that on for real. But these guys didn't get all the shine they could have got. Let's give them a part two versus. Then they're the first part two versus outside of Timbaland and Swiss. It's so many ways this could have gone differently had it been a more professional showcase. Um, you could see Ray J looked like he was a little frustrated as they kept doing the One Wish. One Wish, I am never here to clown. That is one of my all-time favorite R&B records. I think it's absolutely amazing, um, a record. And yes, Ray J is not hitting the notes like he once hit, you know, or at least hit on the song, whatever the case may be. But it doesn't take away from the fact it's an amazing record. Like, you can't take that away from him. It's an amazing record. And one of the best out of the four, if we're being truthful about it, that one Wish record, one Wish record is nice. But um, I just, I just, I'm disappointed. You know, and I, I'll close with that because I didn't want to stay long on this. Um, I had some other notes, but that was when I thought this was going to be way shorter. And it wasn't. And so I just... I'm a little disappointed. I felt they could have handled it a lot better. I felt they could have done their part and came out the way and not try to use this as an opportunity to take over what wasn't there. It had always been shown, as far as my understanding, since this has been promoted, that Amarion and Mario were the, open, were, the, were, the, were the main attraction. That's who people came to see, right? I got my Amarion CD, right? That's who people came to see. They didn't come to see Pleasure P and Bobby V and Sammy and Ray J do a full hour and a half set. Now they came to hear some of those favorite records from Pretty Ricky and Mr. Ray J and all that, but they didn't come to hear all of that. It's, it's too late for that, you know? So that's disappointing because I hope this does not shed such a bad light that Swiss and Timberland don't think that what was a good idea of having an opening act is something that they can't do again for fear that acts won't know how to do their part.
Ladies and gentlemen, do your part. Everybody, do your part. Don't do more than you're supposed to do. Do what you're supposed to do. They tell you to do this, just do that and come out the way. You can always get another opportunity to shine. And if you really that guy, that girl, you don't even need all that time, right? If they only gave you 30 minutes and you rocked in 30 minutes, I guarantee your streams would go up. We still watching it. So that's all I got, man. Uh, you guys leave your thoughts. Did you feel how I feel? Did you not mind it? Was it too long for you? What's your thoughts? As always, I hope you guys have a wonderful, blessed, productive, stress-free day, weekday, weekend, whenever you're listening, however you're listening. I thank you for listening. Till next time. I do want to say, so this is new, but this is the outro. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I thank you guys for sticking out to the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Stick around for some of the other content that you see up right now. As always, I hope you guys have a wonderful, blessed, productive, stress-free day. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post bell notifications so that way you don't miss any of this amazing content. Share, share, share.